The American Gabriel Thomas denied St. Lucia's Julian Alfred the sprint double at the Olympics by taking gold in the women's 200 meters at the Stade de France. An established champion retained his long jump gold, but a superstar of world athletics was stunned in a pretty dramatic fashion. The withdrawal of world champion Sharika Jackson had installed the 27-year-old Thomas as the favorite, and it was Alfred who got off a swift start, and a 100-meter technique allowed her to lead across the first 30 meters. The Britain's Dina Asher-Smith then had the lead till the 70-meter mark, but then the fastest runner this year hit her stride. Thomas had won bronze at the Tokyo 2020, but she powered into the lead at the 80-meter mark and then held it around before the bend before powering down the home straight. She took a maiden gold at the global competition with a time of 21.83 seconds, with Alfred in the second position, 0.25 seconds behind her, while another American, Brittany Brown, completed the podium. Two-time defending champion Elaine Thompson pulled out of the Games last month. I was confident going into the race. Um, I did not realize that I had had won this race until I crossed the line. Um, I knew that I was going to have to execute until the finish. Um, I have an Olympic champion in the lane right next to me. <laughs> I had Brittany, who got second at our trials, right next to me. So I, I, the race wasn't over until it was over. Um, and that's, that's how it went. The Greece's Miltiades Tentoglu lived up to stop billing by taking a second consecutive Olympic gold medal in the men's long jump. The reigning world champion produced an 8.48 meter jump in his second attempt. The Jamaica's world championship silver medalist Wayne Pinnock took the silver medal with 8.36 meters, while Italian Mattia Fulani completed the podium. And there was a massive upset in the men's 1500 metres as defending champion Yakur Ing Breitsen was consigned to the fourth place. The Norwegian took the lead from the starter's gun and led all through till the 1400 metre mark. His great travel, Josh Kerr of Great Britain, pushed him in the final 200 metres and then went clear with 70 metres remaining. But the final kick came from the American Cole Hawker, who went past the two fancied athletes to take gold with an Olympic record time of 3 minutes and 27.65 seconds. Kerr, in fact, took silver ahead of another American, Jared Nugusai, while World Championship silver medalist Timothy Cheriot of Kenya finished in the 11th position in a field of 12. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.